Good evening, everyone. Well, evening. It's six o'clock p.m. here in Hungary, and I've got the memo memo for an hour, an hour ago or something that one left the Chinese indoor app is available worldwide. Uh, so if you are interested and you are not afraid of China, uh, just head over to onelab.com and uh, you have all the instructions there. It's quite basic. It's actually like an open beta, like the Rivet and uh, well, all the others. But uh, it's intriguing. So we have a Chinese lab, Chinese application available in Europe and US. Uh, but interesting fact, if you check. At the moment we have one endpoint, the US endpoint. I don't know how long it can hold. I do hope we will have a, a Europe one. I once you downloaded the uh, the client, it's 1.2 gigabytes at the moment. Uh, Windows is a little bit stiff about that. It always reminded me that it's an it's an application not usually downloaded. So I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. Well, I uh, I like to live dangerously, so I kept it. Uh, once you download it and install it, install it. It installs an Ant Plus library as well. I've tested it in RGT, and my Ant Plus stuff still works, is working as intended. So it doesn't screw up my system. I'm not sure it will stay the same for everyone else's system. So once you started it, you have to register, sign up. Uh, first, enter your email. Then enter your password then click send because then you will get a code on your email what you have to type in here so email password send then you get the code open your email uh, in advance you get the code type it in here you have one minute to type it in then you can click sign up and actually that's all now mario be signed up just did a quick look once you log in you have to set your uh, personal details like height, weight, uh, uh, maximum heart rate, uh, nationality, and such. Then you can configure an avatar, it's very basic. Uh, and then you get here. You can do workouts or free ride. Just to go over the details quickly, you have a quick play, yeah, workouts, free ride. Haven't done anything yet at the moment. You only have a couple of, I don't know what are these. Let's see, sweet. Sweet, what the hell is that? Okay, or not? Spint. I don't know what spint is, but it has a couple of typos, to be honest. And uh, as I told you, it's it's quite a, an open beta like something. Uh, power zones. So, the, 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 for TTF port. Let's see what's in the TTF port. Threshold effort is the main zone. Oh, it actually looks nice. I mean, still spinned, not uh, sprint or something, but yeah. So the workout for the screen looks good. It still has to be polished a little bit. Free ride, yeah, you have a, that's that's your word actually, and uh, you have a couple of routes here. Uh, so you can choose. You can you can choose a route here. You see it here where where it goes, and you have a ranking there. I don't know how accurate this is, but it supports a speed sensor, so I guess it's not really accurate. Uh, carrier. Now that will be interesting. At the moment, I have no activities, but it will have cycling challenge, my gear subscription, and rider level. So I I expect it will be subscription based sooner or later. Cycling challenge. Rider levels, I'm not sure which will be level up and cycling challenges. I don't know what will be that 5 key time trial or uh, Everest challenge or whatever. Options you have an option to set your stuffs. I have my smart trainer here via N, and let's pair my power meter. This is my power meter. Cool. I don't have my heart rate. Yeah, and it automatically connects my cadence. My power meter has cadence. I want to select my power meter. Great. Now for options, uh, we have a couple of bikes, but I can't change it. Oh, okay. So this is what you set at the start. Your name, your year of birth, date of birth, your height, your weight. I don't think... Yeah, I, I set my weight upon first login. FTP, you can set it here. 
it, you can't set it at the first login and you can change your heart rate type mass maximum higher or lactate threshold hr uh, i set my it my maximum appearance this is what you can change uh, but it's, it's very it's very basic system settings not much yet resolution full screen language graphics quality power mode and volume for a beta that will do it now let's do some quick spin in free ride and let's go for i don't know i would say yeah relaxing road no yeah let's go there i don't know what this route is never never cycled on it so this is actually my very first ride on banlet my very first try i i already know it has a couple of camera angles enter sunshine lake so here we go what do we see here we have hmm, we have a clock a latency ping or whatever you call it it's not bad to have but i don't think the average user needs that we have a distance how much we find a slope and the timer and let's see the timer starts if i stop we are going uphill No, the timer doesn't stop, so it's elapsed time, not moving time. We have nearby, actually the, the one past our boat, I think. I don't have anybody else nearby. I wonder what is that, that camera on the upper right corner. Probably a screenshot, or watching me, or we are watching me at the moment. We have a couple of camera angles. <coughs> I can't decide if it's a male or a female and uh, it has burnt scars on the legs I'm quite stiff in the saddle it looks like uh, and I didn't choose that bike I choose the, the light bike never mind that so uh, yeah it looks like uh, a crash test dummy <laughs> at the moment let's see the camera angles yeah, I have everything as usual. It's a bit interesting that it stutters when I change camera angles. And that's all we have. One, two, three, four, five. That's the five camera angles we have. Now let's see what's what we see at the bottom, we see our speed, the power, how much percentage of FDB, which is nice. We see a slope, heart rate, I'm not correcting my heart rate at the moment. We see the approaching rider, maximum heart rate percentage, and we see the cadence. And it's 3 second average, and if I spin up, yeah, it's 3 second average. <laughs> so let's see. What do we have here? We can change the cameras in the menu as well. I just stay there. Uh, what do we have here? If I can change my device, cool. We can change the mid drive. We have to use a setting screen. Okay. I can turn, yeah? Turning now needs to be right. I'm out of the free ride, I think. Anyhow. So I can turn. Great, I can turn. <laughs> I don't know if I can loop around. Somehow. No, I can't. So I can't look around. Uh, okay. Now, this is, I think it's 100, 200, and 300 meters ahead of me and behind of me. So, probably if we are in a race, then I can check who's behind and how much behind. Um, okay, how can I stop it? 
I just know quick button and a con message or something. Right, so okay, so in settings, actually if you want to stop riding, you have to go into test menu, settings, and quit riding. This ride code is uploaded. I still don't know why uh, it's up it uploads my ride. Because I'm not connected to Strava and I haven't seen an uh, account page on OneLab.com. So probably it ended up uh, in China on a server, I don't know where. So if that's a problem for you, I advise against it. Now, okay, I forgot to check the 36 apps of Alba Jessica. So you can check your activity as usual. So it's a uh, it's quite basic. It's very basic. But if you want to try it, go ahead. And that's fine. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you online.